be saving months for that. <laughs> and we'll be saving months for the next one. It's like um, how people save for their blacking two years in advance. We'll save for our next olive oil bottle stuff. So we have one unsalted, some baking, a couple of these. Are you doing um, scanner eye view? Yeah. POV, you're a Tesco scanner. Okay. Scan it with the camera now. Beep. Do you think that'll be in the thumb? Julianaire. I've never cried like those onions made me cry. It was literally like insane. Every single little onion, and because they're so small, you have to cut like three of them for a normal size of an onion. Literally like streaming. Challenge. Oh <laughs> it's like a three point turn. Oh my god. It's uh, 6.35 in the morning, Christina has not slept, been up all night working, <laughs> which means she has run the power down, so we're at 24%, we're trying to keep the battery above 20%. Also we just wanted to do something a bit chaotic, so um, we're going to go for a cruise. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, we're going to move on later today, but we're going to go now we're while do it's it quiet. While we haven't slept. Speed unpack. We're going to try and turn around before uh, it gets too busy. It's been really busy here the last like week or so, and I don't want to do that uh, that winding hole in the uh, well with a queue of boats behind us. Also, we have a slightly upgraded flower situation here. I made those flowers nicer, and there's a tomato in the front. I don't think I've showed that to you yet. We think we're really edgy being up at 6am, but every single other boat that we just went by is already up. Thank you. Um, everyone's already up, so... We're not special. We're not special at all. They've probably been up for hours. Special for us, though. Special we haven't slept. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All these people are up, but have they pulled an all-nighter? How are you feeling? It's only been about 10 minutes, so I feel fine. So far, I feel fine. It's very picturesque moment. We're coming up to the turn. How are we feeling? We're going to try and do this. This is the third time now. So not under the bridge. Last we time was very good. Well, let's so this is going to be a smash it. Yes. Let's see if we can do this nicely. No rush. 
Accuracy is fine. Got a professional at the helm. The helm's man. I don't know if for legal reasons we're allowed to use the word helm for it. A helm person. A helm, no, I meant like, isn't a helm from this course like a specific <laughs> thing that you have in touch? A helm man? Yes, also, I've eaten some mayonnaise in my yeah, life. Also for diversity and inclusion reasons, it's a helm person, I agree. Best turn yet. I've learned to be slightly more aggressive with the, uh, you know, the movement. Now we know that we fit in that space, then, uh, yeah. Pretty Great solid. Great work. Straight Great to work. the water point. That was actually quite an enjoyable one. I, I had a good time there. Nice time argument about it. Yeah. Time. Why not? <laughs> Onwards. Beautiful scenery. Look at that. They're decorating the trees in rugby. Nature is returning to the cities. It's healing. Probably because of the aforementioned all-nighter, I accidentally recorded this next part all in slow motion, which doesn't have sound. I'm pretty sure I was reviewing the pork pie I was eating, but the slow motion gives this footage a layer of drama and gravitas that wasn't really present on the day. Okay, water. Those. Hose before bros. <laughs> Take two. Take two. That's what I said. One brain cell shared. Oh, look, it's my tomato. It looks kind of all right now. So we've done the rubbish, Andrew's doing her El San toilet, and now we're just waiting for the water and then we're ready to carry on. There's a little bit of sun peeking through the clouds, it actually looks like it might be potentially a bit of a sunny day, maybe not. Oh, Andrew's back. There he is, doing God's work. Glamorous face of boating. <laughs> the glamorous face of boating. Water's done. Andrew's been and got us some eggs. They were free. O2 priority, Fridays. We're not promoting it. No, I know we're not promoting it, but <laughs> I mean, they give priority. you a free sausage roll. <laughs> it's like, I mean, anyway, what's not to love? We're moving on. We're going. We're off. Back on the open canal. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a statement. That's what we are. They finally trimmed the tree. This is so much better. It's pretty gnarly. suddenly become Baltically cold and I would just like to point out that it's August. I'm wearing a jumper and a coat and it feels like it's gonna rain. The whole of July was rain and wind. We got half the solar that we would have or we got in the We've run our engine every day. Yeah. For winter. What is this? What is this? And here we go again with the accidental slow motion. I think here I'm talking about how we decided to moor up because I was actually ready to go to bed and it was still the afternoon. 
And then we stayed in the spot for a couple of days because it was raining and it was the weekend and we just wanted to hang out. I actually spent most of this weekend laying around and reading Demon Copperhead. That book really put me through it. Very good, but at what cost to my emotions? I feel like I never talk enough about how fun the actual steering of the boat is, so if you see me on the boat, just assume I'm loving it. Driving the boat is super fun. Sometimes you're like, oh, we have to move. But the second you're out there with the wind in your face and sometimes the rain in your face, it just feels fantastic. There's always something to look at. Even seemingly plain stretches of countryside are teeming with life. Birds are always doing something. We often see rabbits dashing off into the hedges as we approach. They're the only animal I haven't been able to capture properly on camera. They're too fast for me. Hands free. Let's go. Let's go for a little walk. She's a little confused, like she's not sure what's going on. I feel like it should be like here. How do you like it? She's purring. Are you enjoying your walk? She's taking it very well. Being extremely brave. I'm very excited. Yeah, she even saw that dog, no problem. 
cool as a cucumber, aren't you? Well done, very well done. I think she's enjoying having a good look around. We got this portable cleaner, which is like a tiny pressure washer. This was Andrew's concept, and at first I wasn't sure of the utility of this, like how often would we actually use it? For obvious reasons on the boat, you really have to justify the presence of each new item that you're bringing in. There's no room to store things that aren't in heavy rotation. But actually we use it loads. It's really good for cleaning the boat and getting random mud and grime off. It's very satisfying to use, though not quite as much as a real pressure washer, but it doesn't damage the paintwork or anything, it's quite gentle. Anytime I'm in Braunston, I always go to Serendipity, which is an absolute treasure trove. They sell artworks and crafts by local makers, but it's also a fully stocked art supply shop. And I mean fully stocked. Professional grade materials, genuinely niche craft stuff, everything. The lovely owner Heather is an artist and you can tell because the stock is so clearly chosen by someone who loves art materials and she knows everything about all of it. So for my own selfish reasons, so that it's always here when I pass through, I must urge you to visit if you're in the area. You will find something to buy, trust me. I wanted to pick up a little sketchbook for some drawings on the go, something I could throw in a bag and not feel too precious about, and I found just the thing. Look at this. It's flying ants day. It's flying ants day, but there's just so many of them. Look at the swanlings. They're like, mmm, ants. Exactly, the swans are... Uh, it's like a snack for them. Having a huge day eating all of the flying ants that fall in the water. Imagine you went out one day and there was just like, I don't know, what, what would be an equivalent? Oh, yeah. What sits? Just what sits everywhere. You'd be like, ooh, love what sits day. What a great day they must be having. Yeah. Oh, they're everywhere. Yeah, they're horrible. I mean, it's quite sad because obviously they're all dead now, but like... You can just see it all over right there.
that may become chilies. Very exciting. They're having a whale of a time. I'm doing a very much good of control. They're like working their way up the canal. It's a circle of life. Nature. I mean, I feel bad for the ants, but we also love our swan pals. So. Well, I think the ants have had like the best day of their lives, haven't they? They've had a big party in Ibiza or something, and then it's over. Can you just look how long ago it is? Can you see it from this end? It's actually not. It's the same size now, the kids. Yeah. Their necks are just a little bit shorter. I think that means they have their full wings now. Remember when I had that, when I saw them with mm. the tiny wings? Now they think they have their full work. So proud of them. I'm Making so it to adulthood. Yeah, I'm so happy four of them made it. Pretty good. <laughs> 